All right, hello everyone and welcome to my video. Today I will be reviewing Aaliyah's line from MAC. Now I know a lot of you were wondering why I didn't do this yesterday when it first came out. Truthfully, I was tired when I came from work and I just crossed my fingers and I hoped that there would be some left and there was. Now here is the Aaliyah poster that I got with my purchase. It's really beautiful. Check out that shine. Ooh, baby girl is beautiful as ever and when i first saw this poster i thought oh my gosh how cool i can hang it up in my room i know probably a lot of us have not had posters up in our room since the 90s someone who i know is an alia fan is ashley miller and i know she does not do makeup reviews but i was kind of hoping to see her get the line simply because every time i see her videos i see the you know alia posters and pictures and stuff in her background so I was kind of hoping just this one time that maybe she would do a makeup review so I will ask her and for those of you that frequent Ashley's channel if you can ask her hey will you be reviewing the Aaliyah line from Mac I would be really grateful now I only got three things and they came up to 6861 I got the bronzing powder baby girl which cost $28 the lip gloss at your best and it cost $17.50 the lip gloss Lily's Motor City and that cost $17.50 in total that is $68.61 including the New York State tax let me show you guys what I got from Mac So let me close this up. I peeked at it. I'm not going to lie. I peeked at it. So, but let me show you. This is it. It's really, really gorgeous. I was like really happy in the store and they were playing all of her songs, which I'm like, this is great promotion. So in case you guys want to see that gorgeousness and I'll open it up for you guys to see it because it is worth the look. I feel like even people who are not big on makeup will go and get this just because they're like such big Aaliyah fans. It's so gorgeous. And a lot of you guys may not know this, but Aaliyah and I are the same skin tone. So I was very, very happy when they came out with this line. And I'm like, oh, they're going to do it to favor, you know, the things that she wore, the things that she liked, her skin tone. So if it compliments her, it will greatly compliment me. So I'm actually very, very excited about that. And there are some young ladies who I will be sharing their pictures on my blog and on my Instagram and pretty much a lot of my platforms because I feel like they did such great jobs with these Aaliyah tributes. This is the lip gloss gorgeous or they they call it lip glass at mac now originally i thought that this was more brown but it is actually more purple and anyone who knows me knows that i don't like the color purple i think that it is an unusual color I think that purple is the ugliest of all the colors. Actually, I know some people will be mad, but I actually will be wearing this and I actually do like this a lot. So I like this color better. This is a really, really gorgeous color. What is this? The Motor City. This is gorgeous. I'm just going to put it on so you guys can see how great it looks on me. Then I pucker up like I'm getting ready for a kiss. And I like it because like I said, it looks really natural on me. And that is something that I really like. Now let's talk about this Aaliyah documentary. And I will put the link below so that you guys can see what I'm talking about and kind of have an idea. Now they did a documentary. Aaliyah's brother, Rashad Houghton, had an open call for Aaliyah fans. But this more so, this documentary more so included her, I guess you can say dancer fans. And that's cool, but there are a lot of Aaliyah super fans that cannot dance. 
you who would have liked to be included in this documentary there were what about the person who actually started this campaign on change.org and the people who signed that petition to actually get this to move forward i feel like they should have been included in the documentary and they were not there have been people for years who have been doing aliyah tributes who were not included in the documentary lolita price is a very very big name also this young lady who i follow on instagram and i'm going to say her instagram name right now and i'll write it down too so that you guys can follow her she actually favors alia when it comes to her oh i'm so sorry guys when i moved that book i didn't know that it was i, I didn't realize that my book was holding up all this stuff so i'll put up her instagram name here so that you guys can follow her i'll write it here i'll write it on this piece of paper her instagram name is lay d and i was actually very shocked to see these big super fans excluded from the documentary and i would like a documentary approved by the family made from so that is her name on Instagram. It's L A Y D I I O 2 1. I made sure to say it right. So, yeah, I was really disappointed to see so many super fans excluded from the documentary. And if I had to imagine a documentary, especially with her Mac line coming out, that is not how I would imagine it. I feel like there were a lot of actors and models hired from agencies which is cool because they can be super fans too but as opposed to the regular everyday super fan you know i just wish that there would have been more of these people because there are so many people who are well known who i wish would have been included in this documentary so i want you guys to comment below let me know what you think are you going to be getting anything from her line um also if you guys notice the prism the prism is her full set if you notice that the beauty bloggers when they reviewed this before it came out they had the prism the full set cost 250 dollars and that's just a heads up if you go to the store and you want to get it because i wanted it but i didn't know the full set would be 250 although now that i think about it i should have kind of figured but yeah, so let me know what you think.